What's up? What's up? It's the wrong lully. Well, I was in mid-flow while you... Uh, I'll back off. While you... He's a little bit under the weather at the moment. Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm a bit stuffed. Uh, are you sure it's not after your stag weekend? Hey guys, Ride Sanger of Cardi Security. Welcome back to the channel. Episode 11 of Cast Unplugged. Guys, I can't believe we're nearly a year into these episodes. Now, in today's episode, we will go through what's happened over the last four or five weeks since the last episode dropped and a lot has happened and what the plans are over the next few weeks. So guys, sit back and hopefully you'll enjoy this episode. We're in the CAS showroom. Um, the 6 Series was taken out a few weeks ago and now we have my 840 CI Sport on the plinth. As you can see, it's obviously on airlift and we've got these amazing 19 inch uh, BBS wheels which were built up by Voodoo Motorsport. Currently this will be here for a week or two. It needs a good detail uh, so when we get out of here we'll do a good detail and then this car will have a massive audio upgrade. So yeah guys keep your eyes on the channel. This is gonna have one big ass audio upgrade. We're thinking JL Audio, we're thinking old school Alpine. In fact who remembers these cassettes eh? So I'm not gonna play any music for copyright reasons but I've got my Alpine 7294 cassette tuner there. Yes, the display panel on the screen is a little bit damaged. We'll replace that. But yeah, who remembers these, eh? So yeah, what we're going to try and do is keep maybe an old school Alpine head unit in the front and have it connected to a whole load of high quality top end JL Audio equipment so yeah guys keep your eyes on the channel that installation will probably start towards the end of june or early july now let's uh crack on with showing you what's going on in the shop before we grab blade and find out what's been happening over the last few weeks let me show you what's going on on the home audio side so we've got viraj here what's going on you all right yep who works on home av direct um so you guys may not know, but we've got a full-on KEF THX cinema room here. Here's all the equipment that's in the room, bar one item, and I'll show you that. There's the uh, AV rack, including Control 4, which is all for this cinema room. So this is, when it's working, one of very few Dolby THX cinema rooms in the country. And at the moment it's not working because above my head should be a Sony projector, but the model was discontinued and we sold it. There's now a box fresh new JVC projector coming and that will be installed here. And then the cinema room will be up and running again. And we may have two systems playing in here. The system that's already plumbed into the walls, which is the KEF THX system running on Arkham amplification. And then maybe a floor standing system, which will comprise maybe some Focal speakers, with an REL sub. So yeah, this is our full-on Dolby THX cinema room, one of very few full-on Dolby THX cinema rooms in the country. Blade is now back in the shop. Gonna pass me the mic, Harrison, thank you. Blade, what are you saying? What's going on, you right? Yeah, you need to grab this. So you all know Blade, he is front of house. He's a little bit under the weather at the moment. Yeah, sorry, you might be able to hear I'm a bit stuffed. Uh, are you sure it's not after your stag weekend? Yeah, no, I'm all right from that. <laughs> so your blade's getting married soon. I am. Next month in July? July, yeah. Yeah, he's actually tying the knot. Um, well done, congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, so you're gonna be busy before then because you're gonna have to film all your product videos before you disappear on holidays. Okay, so yeah. it's quite a bit you need to do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have like a, a whole week blocked off just to film videos. Mm. Civic, mm. what's happened with your shop build? Well, I'm waiting on you. <laughs> What are you waiting on me for? <laughs> I'm waiting on you to approve that list. Oh yes, that three page list. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll approve the first page because that was spark plugs and service oh, yeah. Happy bits. Happy days. Happy days, 100 quid job done. <laughs> I don't know about the second and the third page because yeah. they, uh, they were calculating numbers. Uh, yeah, well, let's, let's get it serviced at least and yeah. start driving it. Yeah, so I think we're, um, we'll, we'll get the service done. I still need to have a little clean up underneath, get rid of some of the rust and treat it. Uh, and then we need to start doing other bits. Are you pulling the car out for tomorrow's hot hatch? Because it is a hot hatch, isn't it? Civic is a hot oh, hatch. Oh yeah, definitely. Can you pull it out? Might do, All right. yeah. Cool, cool, nice one. Um, now, last month, 
uh, we did a JBL Nano competition, yes, yeah. which we have selected a winner for, and details are on the screen. That JBL Nano is already on its way to that winner. Uh, this month, uh, JVC uh, have given us a single DIN head unit, the one you reviewed recently, KDX 560BT with a little screen and a reversing camera. You got that here? Uh, yeah. So yeah, this is a single DIN cast area, but with a screen here, which you can use if you're for your reversing camera. Yeah. And in fact, it connects to reversing camera thrown in. So one of you lucky guys can win this JVC single DIN stereo with the reversing camera. Keep watching and when myself and Palm are in the car and we're talking, I'll tell you how you can win this. But for now, Blade, nice one. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Grab my phone. Yeah. I'll grab that. See you in a bit. Before I get into the workshop, let me show you two cars that we pulled out for tomorrow's hot hatch cars and coffee event. My Renault 5 GT Turbo, which has been cleaned by Casey. What are you saying, Casey? What's happening? All good? You're all good. Thanks for that. And the Escort Series 1 RS Turbo. Two iconic 80s stroke, early 90s, obviously. That's an 80s car, that's late 80s, early 90s, hot hatches, both turbo cars. If you remember them, which camp were you in? Were you in the Ford camp? Or were you in the Renault camp? I was in neither. I had a Peugeot 20519 GTI, so French camp. Anyway, so June the 3rd, that is our next hot hatch cars and coffee event. Uh, by the time this video goes out, the event would have passed. So in a few days, that event video will land on the channel. So guys, let's have a look what's going on in the workshop today. And I'm gonna grab my additional mic. Um, we've got Mark 1 TT in here for a single DIN head unit, which Steve's working on. Jay-Z's here. Jay-Z, what are you saying? Good. What's going on? Oh, saying, cool. All good. Um, are you doing the workshop? <laughs> I need to get out of the office. Extremely busy today and it's hot. I need an ice cream, Raj. What are you we saying? did last week. I bought you small set this morning. <laughs> last Friday was super hot. So I said to Purav, Purav, ring your friend who's got an ice cream van. Get him down here. Ice cream van was here in 20 minutes. All the staff had 99 flakes. All which around. Doesn't cost 99 pence anymore. So <laughs> Jay-Z's been with us 20 years? 20 years this year, October, I think it is. Man. 20 years. What are you getting me? I'll get you a watch. <laughs> oh, I say. Yeah, I don't I'll want a Brandon that. watch. I'll get you a 20 year watch. <laughs> um, so Jay Z looks after all the uh, emails, he looks after the Cardi Security eBay accounts, looks after the Amazon account, looks after the website, all the uploads, telephone calls, everything. So, yeah, he's the man. So, yeah, um, let me grab that. Nice one, Jay Z. Cheers. Thank you very much. Uh, Catch you guys later. So yeah, Jay's here, let's grab Jay. Jay, what's going on? Grab that. What's up? What's up? It's the wrong lully. What? Yeah, Jay-Z called out a lully, it's the wrong lully. So basically we call aerial adapters like lully, the male stub one. Oops, sorry. So it's basically just like a, a round, long pin basically. Resembles if, something else if that you're male Asian, people have. If you're Asian, you know what lully is. If you're not, you can imagine males so Lily. if you hear a shout in lilies, you know what we're talking about. Okay, basically. so that's the wrong lily. Yeah. Uh, okay, just throw that over there. Um, right, it's a good throw, isn't it? Escort RS, is this in for tomorrow's meet? Focus RS. Uh, so I'll start again. <laughs> Focus RS. <laughs> See, that shows you this is cast unplugged. I called it an escort. I got the RS right yeah. because I saw my initials on there. What's this in for? Health check, uh, just some height sensors. Customers going for wider rims at the rear, so. We're just doing that all at the same time today as we've got a little bit of time. Um, he doesn't so, look as uh, stressed today as he has done no, in previous this episodes. This week's been okay. Yeah, but you've done some banging jobs. It's been busy, stressful, but W124 yeah. on air. 124. Jordan's Lambo or Slambo as palm. Slambo. Um, in fact, guys, rather than going through all the jobs that go through the workshop, we're gonna throw you up a montage now are some of the cars that have been through the workshop over the last four or five weeks. The 
Lambo, or Slambo, as Palm calls Slambo, it. Slambo, yeah. That wasn't an easy job, was it? It looked the part, but it wasn't an easy job. No, so obviously on the video, it looked pretty straightforward. Oh, got kit, put it on, great. But it's obviously the first one we've done on the Builder Series. So the Builder Series is a series of struts that you can adapt to make whatever kit you want. So you can order the bag, so you get the slim bellows, the wider bellows, the shock length, top fixing, bottom fixing, you can have eyelets on both. So you can play around with the kit. You can make whatever sort of variation you need. Nice. Um, they're a performance strut, dampening adjustment, height adjustable. So brilliant kit. So obviously we got the kit done. We made, got the forks made and we got the eyelets done to fit the Lamborghini. Plus being a Lambo, there's not a lot of room in them. And you're not exactly a, no. the slimmest guy. In no, so getting in and out, but oh, thankfully it was most of the work was outside the car. But obviously in the front, there's no room. So mounting, compressor, manifold, then a tank, it's going to get too cluttered. Mm. So I thought I'd oh, do yeah. something a bit different and um, I think he was quite pleased with what we had done. So um, yeah, yeah, Jordan's well. already had that car out a few shows. And over the summer months, I'll, I guess it's going to be at every show you can get yeah. to. Plus gravity, the event itself is bank holiday weekend in August. So you'll have that there. Um, now, if you've not watched the episodes where Jay attacked the Lambo and Jay attacked the W124. Not physically attacked, but you know what I mean. Um, they're in the description below. Um, but yeah, Jay, nice one. Cool. I'll grab the mic okay. and you carry on. Uh, you might have seen something rather cool over here in the corner. We've got um, Meguiar's Renault 5 GT Turbo. Now this is no normal Renault 5 GT Turbo. Obviously it's got some sort of dimmer kit on there, but underneath the bonnet, is a Renault 182 Cup engine. And I believe the interior is from a 182 Cup. And guys, this is drive height. This car's not on air. This is drive height. Um, super cool build. Um, Meguiar's are one of our headline sponsors and this car is here for, you've guessed it, the hot hatch meet, which is tomorrow. So yeah. That's enough in the workshop. Uh, let's see what's going on in tool store and then we'll grab Palm and we'll go out for a drive in one of the cars as we always do. Yes, people, what's happening? Oh, just had about four pallets of uh, Milwaukee power tools turn up and um, we're just getting- Oh, there you are. Oh yeah, hello. You all right? Yeah, I've been looking for you. We've already started <laughs> filming. Yeah, yeah. We what's said, happening? You all right? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I was going to ask you what's going on, but I guess you're already... Well, I was in mid-flow while uh, you... Uh, I'll back off. While you uh, burst through that door. I'll back off. Go on, then. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> just had four pallets of Milwaukee M12 and M M18 power tools land, and we're just um, checking those off and getting those put away. So three of the pallets have already gone up. This is the fourth one waiting to go up. There's loads. There's uh, M12 staplers. There's M12... Um, whatever that is, ratchet tools, there's power tools, all sorts. So make sure you jump on the tool store website and um, check out the Milwaukee deals. Anyway, what's going on? I've got to actually say, this stuff looks great. Yeah. I love those packouts. You can see the amount of packout that we hold. The packout's actually one of the most popular selling storage solutions. I didn't know this, ex this stuff existed. People love it. Until we started selling it. It's amazing. And now I see it in the shop and I yeah. see I'm on an Aaron demonstrating it and how it works. Yeah. So it all clips together and I, I think it's brilliant. I think we need to show Palm clicking it all together because he says it's brilliant, it's easy. What are you saying? We've got something in the yeah, shop. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, let's, okay, let's do let, I'll show you. Let, all right, let's, cool. let's, let's do that. Go. Packout storage solution. Um, this soft bag also clips on top, but you obviously can't have that on top of there. Uh, so you just put it on top, click it in place, and that's now clicked into the rest of your storage solution. These are actually separates. You, you can buy the trolley so you can wheel it around. This is great for people, for contractors with, you know, when you leave stuff in your van, it's gone overnight. Hmm. Sometimes it's gone while you're on a job. This way, you can just unload the whole thing and wheel your whole... And that's the, that's the locking mechanism on the side. Yeah. What's this for? Uh, good question. Is that to release it? Something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it must be. Nice one, Palm. <laughs> can you brush up so, on your product knowledge, please? I, no, I do know my product knowledge, but it's just like... You know when you put on the spot in front of a camera? So, yeah, this Best is... Best way sometimes, isn't it? It shows, a, it shows a true salesman. 
You've got two door, two draw storage, three door storage. Three door draw. The, the three draw storage. You've got crates. And they also do, so you can buy socket sets, pack out socket sets. These are, these are cool. So oh, it's got packaging on it. But anyway, that, so that socket set will just clip into the top of your pack out stuff. Voila. So that's, that's a nice little plug for a tool store direct. <laughs> Yeah, we weren't going to do that, guys, but it's just happened that way. Um, right, Palm, shall we uh, do what you always do? Palm wants to switch it up, but um, we'll talk about that in the car. Uh, should we go for a drive? And we'll talk about what you want to switch up. What are we driving? Well, dun, 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 dun. so as usual, I'm waiting for Palm and I'm waiting for Harrison to set up the GoPros. Oh, he's here. Nice one, Harrison. Palm, where are you? It's all right. Are oh, you there? There's four keys to one car. Oh, now, yeah, four keys. Four locking barrels, two doors, the boot, and the petrol cap. Yep. That's why there's four keys. Yep. <laughs> that's oh, correct. And the ignition. Oh, yeah, that's that, crazy. And that's the one which has got crack on it. Oh my God. There you go. Wow. We all good? Yeah. Recording? Yeah. Front, back? Yeah. Shall we go? Go for it. So, as I said earlier, this is the day before our hot hatch event. So it's Friday the 2nd of June. Um, Palm's like, we need to switch up our cast and plug. And I'm like, well, give me some ideas. So what ideas have you got? Well, every idea I give you, you're like, nah, mate, nah, mate, nah, mate. So it's like, well, well throw some ideas out. Let's go as well. well. well uh, but anyway. Heck. It's been about memories. Memories, yeah, because I had three of these and I blew the engine up in each and every single one. So you once told me that you blew the engine up on, engine up on one, yeah, and you left it on the side of the road oh, and yeah, walked I, away. I got fed up. I got fed up, but so that was my third one. But mate, these were like, back in the day when we were buying them for like fifteen hundred quid. You buy it, breaks down, and leave it on the side of the road. Fifteen hundred quid is what you'll pay for a set of good wheels now. Oh yeah, guys. Any ideas you have for cast unplugged? What else should we bring? to the channel and incorporate it in CAS Unplugged. You know, behind the scenes, would you like to see more staff? Would you like to see what we've got in the warehouse? It's a big old warehouse as well. Multiple warehouses, in fact. Um, you know, we're all for new ideas and we'll give it a go. We don't want this to get boring and we want, obviously, the channel to grow at Turbo <laughs> Anywhere. <laughs> yeah, back in the day though, oh, it felt like it was going it. Back in the everywhere. day, these were rapid, yeah. Well, now, for once, the A312 is clear. Actually, I lie. Oh, no, it's clear, it's clear, for once. I'll give Palm a few seconds to uh, re engage with his youth. youth. Oh, Thinking about memories? Loads of memories, but they, I didn't buy the low by today's standards on yeah what well, a standard one is yeah. so let's talk about shows first um so last month the only show we attended was d max 250 at center pod we had two cars there the uh, e 30 lto and charlie's uh, liberty walk f430 and obviously our slam sanction clothing um we've got a restock on the slam sanction clothing guys so details on the screen and in the description the weather's just turned, so if you need some t-shirts, get over to Slam Sanctuary and get some t-shirts in your basket. I can't believe how quick we keep selling out of the designs, and it's you get it in and it's gone out straight away. The Essentials quite... range, which is what Palm is wearing, um, they're your basic everyday t-shirts with the single Slam Sanctuary logo on your chest and one at the back. And I think there's the two for £45, so it's a great deal. Um, car and coffee event tomorrow, as I mentioned. Um, at the end of June, we may have another car and coffee event. So keep your eyes peeled on the website, cardiscurity.com forward slash events and on the socials. In terms of shows for this month, we've got one of the best shows of the year, Players Classic, June 17th and 18th. That's become quick, isn't it? Mm, that's come so quick. That's at Goodwood. Um, so you've obviously got a lot of nostalgia and history with Goodwood. On the Saturday is an open track, and guess what? Guess who's going on track? Me. No, me. Oh, in general. 
I am. I'll be on track in the E46 M3 track car. And obviously our track car is a little bit different because it's probably the only track car in the UK with airlift performance. Oh no, there's a lot more now. Are they? Oh, yeah, oh, I'll take that back then. Yeah, yeah there's, 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 there's quite a few on the circuit now. So we're going to do some shakedown miles uh, after JTEC Automotive uh, put some love into that car over the winter months. Not had a chance to get it on a track since. But yeah, that'll be on the track and we'll be there. We'll have some nice, cool cars as usual. Next month in July, we've got a full on month of events. So for the first time, we're at Goodwood Festival of Speed, which is, I believe, July the 13th to the 16th. We're gonna have a good size stand for that. We've also got the Flat Six Porsche event and we've got Modified Nationals. Wow. In one month and that's at a new venue. So that's at the end of May. So we've got a busy month next month. And one other thing, this month in June, next week in fact, I'm driving to Scotland with my friends to do the NC500. Depending on weather, we'll try and do all the NC500. I was going to take my 992 GT3, but there's a little weird, there's a little knocking noise from the front suspension. I know what you're thinking. Well, if you'd put it on airlift, it wouldn't have that knocking you, noise. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, yeah. Yeah, so the cars with Porsche <laughs> Reading, uh, they're just investigating where that knocking noise is coming from. Uh, so I'll be going again this year in my yellow 997 GT3, and I will be vlogging it. So on the channel, by the end of this month, you will see my vlog covering uh, the Scotland trip. Now, Palm. Yeah. Airlift. Air ride. So yeah, we've had all the Builder Series struts come in, which I'm super excited about. So I will be doing a separate video on that, which will drop in a couple of weeks um, about all the different variants and what you can do with it. It's absolutely brilliant. I've recently used uh, Builder Series struts on um, Jordan's um, Lamborghini Huracan and mate, did that drive like a dream. Yeah, Jay went through that. Yeah, absolutely so. brilliant. So yeah, if you want to go back and watch the video of that, that's what we used on that vehicle and um, hopefully I'm gonna be using a set of those on another upcoming project. New range of compressors coming in, um, real fast fast fill compressors, super silent, so Sean's working on that at the minute. Um, and we've had our first delivery of the uh, classic car series land, so which that covers the uh, Mercedes W124, W126, uh, SLR129 and the 190 Mercedes. Those kits are now in stock, on the shelf, ready to go. So yeah, um, for now, just drop me a DM direct, palm underscore M3, and I'll send you over the pricing for those. We can also do installation in-house. Admittedly, you might be waiting for a, <laughs> yeah, for a few weeks. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, mate, it's all going off and it's super exciting to be honest. Yeah, and, and don't forget guys, we do do car audio as well. That's what it says on the tin. We constantly talk about <laughs> airlift and air ride and tools, but our bread and butter is car audio. Yeah. And obviously, website cardiscooter.com. If you need any more information, just drop us an email. Um, now, earlier on, I showed you the JVC single din stereo in the shop. Now, one of you lucky guys can win that. And there's no need for a competition, you know. Just wanna give it away to one of our followers. And the question I'm gonna ask is, no question, just drop a comment below, anything. What do you like about CAS? What don't you like about CAS? What do you like about our project cars? In fact, what project cars do you think we should bring to the channel? Um, you know, any ideas you have for CAS Unplugged or for the business? Anything you wanna know, how long we've been trading? You know, are we brothers? The answer is no, we're not brothers, but I spent probably more time with Palm over the last 25 years than I have with my own brother. Um, nothing wrong with my brother, by the way, yeah. <laughs> he, just, he just lives a million miles away. Yeah, he just lives far away. Um, so yeah, just drop a, drop a comment below, drop a question, whatever you want. One of you lucky guys, we will select by random and you will win that JVC KDX 560BT, single in stereo with, that, with a reversing camera. And uh, guys, you're probably wondering where's our May uh, car purchase, that will drop on the channel in a week or two the deal has been done so i did buy it in may but it's been delivered in june so you did say buy one car a month i did buy it in may it's been delivered in june uh, so to be I, fair, I haven't failed on that deal yet um so that's another nice car which is going to be a project car that will land on the channel 
imminently and we'll do a video as we always do it was a little bit different the way this car transpired so i'm not oh, gonna... is this, this is the car that yeah yeah so yeah i found yeah so i'm not gonna go too much into it that was a, a palms find now finally guys we do love all the comments that you drop on the channel and i've got my little notepad here i'm just gonna read some of these comments um so john mcdonald uh gave me some great advice on the 190e uh 2.5 16 valve Cosworth. I know it's not a Cosworth, guys, but it sounds kind of quite nice when you do say Cosworth. I know the 190 2.3 16 valve was officially the Cosworth, correct? Oh, was it? Yeah, so that used the Cosworth head. Um, oh. Yeah, I quite like saying the Cosy. But yeah, John McDonald, thanks for... Uh, this is just one comment I've picked up on. Thanks for all your advice for cleaning the cooling system out. You know, we appreciate all the comments you drop, good or bad. We do read them, we do try and respond to them, and they are taken on board so we appreciate that guys so yeah we're back at cast hq as always guys uh, make sure you smash the like button thanks for all the love you guys have given us drop a comment below you've got an opportunity to win that jvc stereo you know what else should we bring to the channel so what were you saying what was your idea i'll i'll, I'll stick it in the email so that you can read it digest it <laughs> whatever <laughs> all right guys uh thanks for all the love thanks for watching uh make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh we'll be back on the channel very soon bye